There is no shortcut to any place worth going. So if you want to achieve your goals, work hard, add harder. Welcome to the video session of MahindraGuru.com. Let's see what we have in the topic today. The topic today we have is the transport lane. Can you please answer a question? Name the number or name the position on which transport layer is located in the seven layer architecture of OSI. Yes, come on with the answer quick. Yes, it is. The first layer is physical one. Then after we have the data link layer, then the network and then after we have the transport layer. So the transport layer is the layer number four of OSI model. Let us have a view of the architecture of the seven layer architecture of OSI model. The very first layer is the physical layer followed by the data link layer. Then after we have the network and the port, the topic for today, the transport layer. Okay. Thing that, uh, that I would like to repeat here is we have to follow the bottom top approach. It's a fact. You have to believe it that we have to follow the bottom top approach. The first layer, the second layer and so on. Do remember this fact. Let's see where actually the transport layer is positioned. The transport layer is positioned below the session layer or above the network layer or we can see or we can say rather in between the session and the network layer. Now, the actual definition of transport layer. The transport layer is the fourth layer of seven layer architecture of OSI model. We all know. The transport layer holds the sum of the very useful and important protocols. Those protocols will be discussed in the next video session which are required for the transmission of data. The services provided by the fourth layer or the transport layer are. Let us have a view on the services provided by the transport layer. Connection oriented communication. Now what does connection oriented communication means? The term connection oriented hereby means a connection that has been established between the source and the destination before sending data. Uh, assume, uh, take an example here. If the source wants to send a data packet or data towards the destination and the destination is located in the segment C of a network. Now, the source will establish a connection, will establish a session with the destination and then after establishing a connection or session, it will send the data, it will forward the data. This term is known as or this policy of transport layer is known as connection oriented communication. Let's see what we have next. Congestion avoidance. Congestion is a term used when the network node, here the point is network node, when the network node carries more data that it can handle at a point in, at a, at a point in time, hence causing packet loss or blocking of new connection. It is somewhat like overload, overloading of a network load, node. <clears throat> in case a node carries more data that it can carry in a point in time, the problems that occur are packet loss or blocking of new connections. In such a case, new connections cannot be established with the transport layer. Then after, <clears throat> to avoid this, the transport layer provides the congestion avoidance mechanism. The congestion avoidance mechanism is provided by the transport layer. This is a point that should be remembered if we take, if we consider the SOIT or the PO examination. Then after we have the flow control. It is the control over the rate of data transmission between two or more nodes. The flow control must be considered at the time of transmission because many times it happens that the frames are transmitted very quickly or they are transmitted slowly. So this should be considered while, trans uh, while transmission of any data using transport layer. So let's see what are the functions provided by the transport layer. Provides host to host communication. This type of communication is required when we have to run what? When we have to run applications. An application that runs over the client system and is connected with the server. In such a case, host-to-host -host communication is provided by the transport layer. Then after we have this uh, supports the concept of virtual circuit. Now what is a virtual circuit? A virtual circuit is a connection, is a conceptual connection that is established between the source and the destination. It works very similar to a physical connection. Though it is not a physical connection, but it works very similar to a physical connection. It is a conceptual, it's a virtual circuit that is provided by the transport layer, the fourth layer of OSI model. Okay, so the next digit page will be on the transport layer protocol and devices. The protocols and devices that are associated with the transport layers will be 
the next topic for the video DP. Do post a comment on MahendraGuru.com and do subscribe us on www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Mahindra Guru videos. Your success is our success. Thank you.